Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Just Candy channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be doing a tier list. Something I have not done in such a long time, but yeah, let's jump into it. So, with the recent Peroxide update being focused mainly on full brings, I thought that it would be best for us to do a tier list on all the full brings in the game so far, since it's added up to pretty much similar amount of full brings to every other race like Bankai, Shikai, etc. But if you guys are new to the channel, please the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'm trying to 20k subs, so please let's go. So yeah, we have a lot of full brings, and we're going to be ranking them from worst to best. Now, we're going to start off from C tier. Now C tier, we have Clock. Now Clock is really good. Clock is a really good full bring. Just because it's at the bottom doesn't mean that it's bad. I just have like all the others above it in, you know, like abilities and pretty much enjoyment. Now the thing with Clock that I dislike is the fact that Clock doesn't flow well. Now the thing with Clock is merely that you have to use the moves in a certain pattern for you to get the full extent of the Clock ability. And also the ultimate, in my personal opinion, the ultimate kind of sucks because if you're not fast enough to actually use the abilities, your clock will not be doing a lot of damage and your ult doesn't even do that much damage, even if you land like 12 of them. But yeah, that's much my personal opinion on clock. I know a lot of people run clock and it's probably their favorite thing, but in my personal opinion, I think that is just the worst full bring out of all the lists right here. Now, the other one that we have here in B tier is, of course, Keter. Now, Keter is really, really good. I really do enjoy playing Keter. And before Keter got nerfed, Keter was probably S tier, probably the best full ring in the entire game. Now, the reason for that is the fact that Keter was just amazing with the combos and the amount of damage you could pull off with it. Now, if you if infuse that damage that you did with those with Inferno Gem or Expo, like, bro, you were just doing a lot of damage. And also, there was like the Reap Gem that you could put on the guns and it would make it so, like, after the combo is finished, the person will not be able to heal when they awaken which is insane but the fact that it got nerfed and this damage got nerfed and the fact that you're only limited to only doing three combos it kind of went down on the list but at the end of the day it's still a really good ability the ultimate is still really overpowered the fact that it combines all your moves into one and it also it combines the gems that you have on your skills when you're doing that move as well so it's really really good now the other one that we have here is a tier now a tier these two are interchangeable in my personal opinion you can just change whichever one you want and that is amazon and dimension now the thing that i would say that has dimension at a little bit higher than amazon is the fact that amazon is merely close range and the thing with peroxide is peroxide has a lot of range moves so you're probably going to be struggling a lot to actually catch people to land your close range combos with amazon when you have something like dimension which dimension you can punish people in all ways and well, all shapes and form, basically. The way you can punish people is basically since people love spamming stuff like Getsuga, um, Shin Ten Raiho, and the new Metal Plate in Cybernetic move, basically you could just use your counter from Dimension and counter them. Then you also have a range skill for Dimension that also, if they block it, it will trap them in place and you TP to them and you can combo extend off that. And then also your first skill and your second skill just combo well into each other. So Dimension, in my personal opinion, just has a little bit of a league above the fact well, it's just above Amazon by a little bit for me, but it's interchangeable either way you want to put it. And also, I just like how the Dimension Alt is, but it's very easy to miss if someone is moving around a lot compared to the Amazon Alt. Now, the best full bring that we have in game so far is, of course, String. Now, String is surprisingly overpowered. I don't know why it's a common and it's that strong. String is just, just insane. The fact that I've seen some crazy combo with people doing like infinite air combos, like bro, it was insane. Basically someone did, it was actually not them into the sky, then combo extend, like they put the string on them, combo extend into the sky, go farther, then went up again, and then just slammed them down, and then the combo just kept on going. Like string is such a good ability, you can just combo well together with it. And I really do like string. The ultimate for it as well is really overpowered. The fact that it just keeps pulling you towards the person and it just keeps just applying pressure. It's like the perfect pressure ability in Peroxide. But yeah, I know a lot of people will not agree with this, but it's my personal opinion on uh, what I would rank the full brings in the game. I know some clock people will be mad because people are saying it's like really overpowered. And then also another thing that we have here in S tier is of course Midas. Now Midas is really, really good. The fact that you can heal and your ultimate just the fact the more coins you have the more heals you can do like midas is just in a whole just pretty much like the best thing and midas and string is just like combined like better than combined is just really nice 
Now, the thing with Midas that a lot of people might not like about it is the fact that it relies too much on landing M1s and gathering coins, but the more coins you gather, the more overpowered you'll be. Literally, you can make an immortal build with Midas by just having a lot of coins and just constantly healing yourself and having like all those, like the healing things on your, I forgot what it's called, I think it's Ikor. You can just have Ikor on your moves. You can just constantly heal, pretty much make an undying full bring build, but that's just how it is. But tell me guys thoughts on the tier list in the competition below. Good to sign off. Love y'all and peace.